Yeah, just literally within the past 90 seconds, the National Hurricane Center hoisting hurricane watches from the central Louisiana coast eastward all the way to the Mississippi and Alabama border. This includes New Orleans as well as Lake Pontchartrain. There are tropical storm watches extending further east than that just outside of the Panama City region. That information is new to us. We don't even have the graphics prepared to show you, so I'm verbally telling you uh, what is the latest here from the National Hurricane Center. Tropical storm Nate not looking that convincing on satellite as we speak, but looks can be deceiving. The storm has now just exited the coast of Honduras. It is moving over warm, open waters across the Caribbean. And I want to show you this graphic because uh, this is one of the latest ensembles, the European model, and it's showing a high probability of tropical storm force winds at the minimum for the Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama coasts, especially as we head into the Saturday night overnight period and into the day on Sunday. So that is the time frame we are looking for across the Gulf Coast states. But in the immediate term, the short term here for Honduras, Nicaragua, life-threatening flooding, uh, in the next 24 hours, we have st uh, tropical storm to hurricane force winds for the Yucatan and Peninsula. That includes Cozumel and into Cancun. And then again, as we head into the day on Sunday, that's where we expect a potential Category 1 hurricane impacting the Gulf Coast state.